Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My John Readings. This reading will be for my Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the upcoming week of April 29th, 2019. We have um, Happy May, <laughs> starting May, which is an eight universal month. Um, as above, so below, right? Eight is also a sign of infinity, um, completions, karma, karmic completions, money, 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 money that and then we got the new moon in Taurus on the fourth so again Taurus is all about stability and extravagance and beauty and I just think that this is about to be a money month for everybody that's just what I think okay so what are the major themes for my earth signs for the upcoming week of April 29 2019 please I'm still in the sun with all my shadows and my eyes lighting but I love it. So we gon' we gon' make it do what it do. Okay, let's see. Earth signs. Let's see if anything changed from last week. Last week, y'all, somebody was messing with y'all money, some relationship. So let's see if y'all have been able to shake out those energies. Okay, first of all, angel number forty-eight. Look that up. Earth signs. See if that resonates with you. First card. Four circles. Day. This card is about um, self-worth, definitely. Stability, four, right? Stability and money. Makes sense from last week. Seeing value, seeing seeing the true, the true value, the true worth of something, right? Again, in relationships and yourself, around you, in the work that you do, in your, uh, I said relationships, in your, how you relate to other things. Right, how you relate to places, how you relate to objects, right? Seeing the value in everything that you touch, everything that's around you. And also what working hard to see that value and to attain that value. Ooh, the wind picked up when I said that. Eight wine knot. Tying or untying, right? Anxiety. We don't know until we go. Gotta keep going with that card. West talking about your objectives or with somebody else <laughs> things that you're trying to accomplish again that could be relationships that you're trying to accomplish it does not have to be romantic um tying together your objectives this could be about money again y'all which makes sense earth signs like stability and they like to have their money right so let's clarify this jade card please five circles dragon Two line sword. Yep, there you go. Now we know what the knot means. And center. That is really interesting. Wow, I think the water signs had these exact three cards. That's crazy. Um, and then close to the same spot. Okay, so <laughs> about that knot card. Now we know what it means. So Jay, we're talking about money again. Abundance. Windfalls, right? Allowing it to come. Um it looks like change, change coming, right? So you toiling, whatever you're toiling on with your money, how you get your money, if it's a job or something like that, um, change is coming to where money comes to you more easily, earth signs. That's what that looks like to me. You got the two line sword, right? Having to make a decision, a sacrifice, having to cut something off. Now the fact that it's right under the knot, bam. Now we know that that knot is, we're cutting through things. Um, but in clarifying the jade, that's cutting off ways of being, ways of maneuvering, right? Where you're not seeing your worth, where you're not seeing the worth of things around you, where you're not appreciative of the things that you already have, right? So you could have like a nice car, but you just drive it to the ground, right? Or you put cheap gas in it, or you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't really treat it like it's a nice car, right? You throw, um gym clothes in the back and you know you don't pamper it and I know it sounds crazy for an inanimate object but you have to think the energy that you put out into stuff you get back so just keep that in mind honor card success romance everything being right on the money right but this also means getting to the heart of the issue right again what is it earth signs that you're not valuing there's something that you're not valuing 
in yourself, in a relationship that you have. Um, it could be with a coworker, a boss, romance, roommate. Uh oh, we ain't really picked up with that one. In your objectives, right? What you're trying to accomplish in life. There's something, there's value somewhere that you, you overlook it. And once you start to see that value and appreciate that value, you, you can be where you need to be, right? The money is there, success, love, literally these two cards alone, just everything. Let's clarify the nine card, please. Okay. We got a Uh-oh, okay, wow. That's interesting. We got a guardian, but then it's followed by a woman card. So they're like, okay, I got to tell you this, but don't panic. <laughs> so the universe, they want you to get scared. Like, okay, I got to tell you this, but don't panic. Okay. It's like somebody being like, um, I, um, right, I ate your lunch, right? I'm sorry, I know you're starving, but I ate your lunch. But I replaced it, right? It's like that type of situation. Like, I got to tell you this, but don't panic. Okay, so I'm sure there's the female cardinal bird behind me saying if y'all can hear it. Um, actually, I think it's the male looking for the female. Um, so, seven circles insect. Being on the move, right? Um, since this is about severing things that no longer serve you, shared resources. You got your blade of grass, I got mine, right? you like, mine is a little higher, but hey, I'm acting like I don't see that. But realizing situations... A lot of situations that you're stressing over are not as weighty as you may think, right? Transient stuff will pass, just like this beautiful bird singing, <laughs> literally behind me. Um, but taking accountability, accountability comes up with this, right? Being on the move, but realizing what moves are yours, realizing your role, you know, in this situation, how you want to go about building your own life, right? How you want to go about um, even relating right with this other person this other aunt because y'all working on a shared project y'all it's you both y'all are working on the same patch of grass like for work it could be the same project or um romance it could be maybe you have a kid or you're working towards something but it's a matter of communicating and making a decision on how you're going to do that now that y'all on two different blades of grass <laughs> okay look issues with overthinking issues with worrying about your abundance issues with letting go of the anxiety that you dealt with or that is being caused by the situation um that i spoke about with the insects and having to sever things right but that's okay because look orchid beautiful this is about extravagance this is saying always strive for the best right orchids are rare they're expensive i love orchids they're not easy to come by you don't see them every day but this is a reward so this is saying yeah you stressed about this little, this, what you're stressing over is little, right? This anxiety, this, how is this gonna work? This abundance, you know, I'm still stressing. I thought things would be better. This is saying, always strive for the absolute greatest, right? That you can. Always live for greatness, right? Have the, have high standards. That's what the order card is telling you. You have to cut stuff off. So what? <clears throat> so what? Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a way of thinking, maybe it's a job, maybe it's a project. So what? Always reach for the highest, highest fruit, right? Raise your standards. And that makes sense. That explains what I was saying with the J. Bam. I knew it was something there about self-worth. Nine, one, heaven. Completion, right? Happiness, joy, perfection. You got this. Things are wrapping up and allowed them to. We have a new moon in Taurus. What did I tell y'all? Dealing with abundance. Dealing with beauty and luxury. That's what Taurus is all about. And stability. What did I tell you with that? Okay, a card just flew away. Um, so, yes. Okay, just a second. All right. This is the card that flew off. Right when I was about to clarify the list card. So, and the fact that it was only one card, too. It's like, ooh. Pick me. Okay, so this, the nine bamboo willow, talking about healing, resilience, um, letting the wind blow, right, but bending, doing what you need to do. This is a do what you need to do card, right? Healing, don't worry about it, 
get your little stressing out, your little crying. But think about it. You are creating something bigger, more beautiful. You're reaching for higher standards. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> Don't lament the severing that you have to do because this you're raising your standards. You're raising your standards even for what you expect out of life. When you tell life, no, I don't want this, life has to give you better, no matter what it is, right? You can start with a small experiment. I've done it. No, I don't want to eat this. I don't want to eat this for breakfast. I'm bored with this. And literally, people have brought me breakfast. Literally. I'm not joking. Like, out of the blue, people have been like, oh, here, you want this? Oh, here you go. I made this. You're like, what? You're like, dang, it really worked like that? It's like, yes, it really does. You can have whatever you want. So cry a little, do what you need to do, but ultimately bounce back. Bounce back, Earth signs. Don't let this person or this situation that you're trying to accomplish stress you out. You are doing, this is for the greater good. This is for your standards. You're raising your standards in the process. Nope, there's another Jade. I told y'all this. I told y'all this. <laughs> Okay, so four circles, Jade again, talking about raising your standards, talking about your self-worth, your value, working hard to achieve the best. And this is right underneath the Orchid card, right? You're working hard for the best. Think about it. Don't nobody work hard just for mediocrity. Mediocrity, by definition, is doing nothing. It's doing the least that you can to get by. You're working hard for something. There's a reason for it. To build your stability. To get to the wealth right the hard work yes it's going to be a little stressful at times but think just remember that you are raising the bar that's what you're doing bam five wine house last card of the reading at home in your work environment it couldn't be more clear you're raising your standards don't worry about it don't cry don't let it stress you out there's money here. there's luck here there's wealth here right completion that's divine divinity is on your side perfection but you have to work hard you got to work through it you're raising your standards and raising your standards takes work that's it hey let's start with virgo i never start with virgo <laughs> I'll start with Virgo. A little bit too much next week, sorry. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Because I'm standing on it. All right. One one entering. First of all, angel number 19. Look at a Virgo. See if that resonates with you. What did I just tell you? Doors being opened. Open. Doors opening. Barriers being lifted. Right? When you strive for the highest standards, you get the best. When you, you have to ask for it. I think this came up in somebody else's reading too. Fire signs. Leo or something. If you don't ask, how does the universe know what you want? It don't. You have to ask for it, right? And then go see in the world that which you are asking for, that which you are seeking, right? See it in yourself first and then see it ex externally. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, see, look, look at the abundance that's already on her side of the fence. She has everything, right? She built that. But look, if you look on this side, there's also abundance behind the door. She can't see everything that's back there, but she just knows a lock has been taken off. A bolt <laughs> has been taken off this door so that now she's able to walk in or walk in in all of her glory, bringing her gifts, bringing her wisdom, bringing her extravagance that she's already acquired on this side to that side, right? She doesn't have to leave those things behind. She takes it with her, but she still walks through new doors. So Virgo, walk through the new door. It's a new moon. Take advantage of the fact that barriers have been lifted for you. Don't just stand there and sit there, though. You still got to take action. All right? Higher standards. What did I say? Even though everything looks good on her side, it's beautiful. She's still walking through that door. She can always, always, always raise her standards. If the bar can always be raised. Taurus. Okay, Taurus. I knew it was a reason why I hesitated on doing yours. Angel number 31, look that up. Um, happy birthday, Taurus. This card is about stress. 
um, anxiety, right? Maybe you're stressing. It could be good stress. Like, okay, my birthday's coming up. What the heck am I going to wear? But since the general reading was about um, raising your standards, right? Focusing on yourself, cutting things away that no longer serve you, working hard um, to get to the value, right? The worth in the, of the situation. I feel like for you, um, you have to point of no return to us. Some stuff you just gonna have to, some bridges will have to be burned, right? What do they say? The saying is, may the light of bridges burn, uh, may the light from bridges burn illuminate the path forward. That's your situation to us. You stressed out because I think you're coming to the realization that you have to isolate yourself in order to get to where you need to be. Think about it. Muhammad Ali didn't train with 30,000 people. He trained with his trainer, right? He worked out by himself. Um, all of the greats, Maya Angelou, like just go down the line. Everybody who's created brilliant, something brilliant or reached their greatness, they had to go into this isolation period. So don't let that scare you, Taurus, right? Don't be afraid to go up on your mountain and figure, figure it out, right? Be in your house creating, doing what you need to do, right? Out away from the public eye. Don't be afraid to have to bring up your little drawbridge too, too, right? Nope, nobody can come across my moat unless you want to swim through, you know, hungry alligators, right? Because that's how you get to your greatness. You're raising your standards, towards. Remember that. You're raising the bar. That's what you're doing. Okay, and last but not least, Capricorn. Right, three circles. Phoenix, angel number 12. Look that up, Capricorn. Look at that beautiful sunlight hitting that. Um, see if that resonates with you. So, Phoenix, you're rising from the ashes. You are down, Capricorn, but it's nothing. Look, coins, money, extravagant. Look how tall this Phoenix is standing. It's not hunched over. It's not complaining like, oh, yeah, I don't know what I've been through. No. It's like, Shh, what? What issue? What burning? What do you mean I just, I just turned, you know, transformed from dust? Whatever do you mean I was just on fire two days ago, right? This is proud. The Phoenix is proud. The, the Phoenix is proud of everything that it's been and it's created, right? It's beautiful despite its problems, despite the opposition, in spite of challenges that it has um, experienced. It represents joy, right? The Phoenix only comes out when things are going well, right? It's a, a good bird to see when you are looking for a positive omen or a positive sign, right? Remember, general reading, raise the bar, level up, raise your standards. That's what you're working to, that's what you're doing, Capricorn, right? And you deserve it. All right. This is kind of long, but it's all good. Thank you for listening. Y'all have a good week. Peace out.